so you ignore this, this is supposed to be 110100, I'll change this divided by 100. So we start with the same process, right? We check, is, is, can, we, can we divide one perfectly by 100? Zero, zero? We cannot because one is less, so you write a zero. We shift to the next bit, 11 one divided by 100, zero, zero. again, this is much smaller than this, so we shift to the next bit, right? We know that this is greater than this, so this can go into there one time, right? 100 into 110 is one. One times 100, so it's 100, it's 111. We get 100, and then we subtract the two, right? Same sub subtraction rules we just spoke about here. Zero minus zero is zero, one minus zero is one, one minus one is zero, right? And then we, we try now, we try to say, can we, can, can this go into one zero? It cannot, right? So what do we do? We drop down this one here, it comes down here. We check, can this go into one zero one? It can, right? It goes there one time. We multiply the one by one zero zero, right? We get one zero zero, we subtract one zero zero from one zero one, we're gonna get one, right? Can, now this is where it gets really interesting. Can we divide one by, by no. one zero zero? We cannot, so we drop, or we, Subtract that. So what we do is we drop this zero here, right? Can we divide one zero by one zero zero? No. It's it's zero. It goes in zero times. It turns out that when you're dropping, this is why I'm saying you go through the division thing in this ten. When you there's certain rules you follow when you're dropping numbers, right? In this case, you notice that when when we subtract it the first time, when we check if this can go into one, if it cannot. We're not saying the answer is zero, but we immediately drop. The moment the, the, moment the, the result of subtracting the two numbers is, is not large enough to be, uh, to, to be divided by the divisor, what you do is you drop down the zero, right? You don't do anything, there's no answer, you just drop down the zero, right? Once you drop it down, when you check, if this is still smaller, it's like you're now dividing what you've dropped down, right? Which is one zero. The answer is actually zero. It has to be zero, right? And then zero times this is going to be zero and whatnot. Well, so we don't have to do this, we ignore it. We drop down the other zero now. And we're saying one zero zero by one zero zero, it's, it's just going to be one, right? And then one times one zero zero is just going to be zero. Um, we drop down the zero. We, we subtract this to its zero. Again, notice that at this stage, we're not dividing because this is the result of subtracting these two numbers, right? So we're gonna just drop down this zero, remaining zero. And then we check, zero divided by this is zero, right? Zero times zero is zero, and then we converge because it's gonna be zero, and then we get the answer, right? 